What makes pop rocks pop? Eating most candy isn't complicated. You take a bite, enjoy a sugar fueled dopamine rush, and repeat until you have a stomach ache. Chemist William A. Mitchell added another step to the process when he developed Pop Rocks. When the sweet, hard candy bits hit your mouth, they act up before breaking down, creating a crackling, hissing noise that would be alarming coming from any other food product. But when it happens to Pop Rocks, you know you're getting what you paid for. So what exactly is it about the candy that makes it just as much of a science experiment as a sweet snack? The answer lies in carbon dioxide. It's the same gas that gives cola, beer and champagne their effervescence, but it's not a common ingredient in solid foods. In the late 1950s, Mitchell wondered if it was possible to create an instant soda tablet by baking CO2 into candy. Even though his idea didn't take off, the experiments laid the basis for Pop Rocks. Like other hard candies, Pop Rocks are made by mixing sugar, lactose, corn syrup and flavorings. Once those ingredients are melted together and boiled, highly pressurized CO2 is added. When the candy mixture hardens, it traps bubbles of gas, exerting pressure at 600 pounds per square inch PSI. And by the way, if you're worried that all that pressure will do some serious damage to your body, you can rest easy.